So, hi, it's me, Denny Daniel, and I'm here with... John Michael. Leah. And they came all the way from California, Hollywood land, to be filmed. I know. <laughs> Why would you do that? Just another day in the life. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly cheaper to stay there. <laughs> Are you from L.A.? Yeah, Long Beach, L.A., yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> cool. So, now they're going to open up one of these items here uh, from the Museum of Interesting Things. And as you know, I do it like a 40-second street shell game. Uh, the only difference is, like I said, you don't win anything. Uh, but ethically, it's exactly like a New York shell game. But I am going to mix them up. So here I am, mixing them up. Are you guys confused? So confused. Excellent. Good answer. You learned from the other bunch, didn't you? <laughs> okay, so each one of you gets to pick an item. So which Did one you do you have? Did you take a picture of Denny? You go first. Get the no, big one this time. Ah, yes, my girl. I'll take the, uh, I'll do the box. Box, excellent. And there's your scuffle. And there's your scuffle. And remember, don't cut each other, don't cut yourselves, and don't cut the monkey poop behind way, then. <laughs> And don't cut my cat. That's a race. <laughs> Them well. Yeah. I don't want to do this towards myself. And I'll help you with your sides. So that's <laughs> she's like, he's going to cut my elbow. All right. <laughs> it's that last bit that he takes even more. <laughs> it's funny. You had the same problem on the other side. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Oh man, that is really cool. Mighty Tiny Records. Yep, that is the world's smallest record player. Those are records for the world's smallest <laughs> record player. Mighty Tiny Records. That is so cool. And so this is the Latin one, the Cha Cha one. This one's color. Oh, I didn't even notice on the top they have the genre. Yeah. This is the Calypso one. Uh, what was that song? Uh, Limbo Rock or, you know. Uh, That's what? Latin. This is Calypso. What? These are all marches. Marches. Or I love this one because I think it has the, it's the circus clown one. I love this one. Oh, this is the coolest one, the Dixieland Jazz. Wow. Yeah, that's the one I really also wanted, the Dixieland Jazz one. What a great one. Tell you the Fantastic. I've got over 100 these records. These are so cute. Aren't these amazing? <laughs> this is the world's smallest record player, and I'll show you the record player. It's right over here. In this apartment, asking you shall receive. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the world's smallest record player. And are you ready to see this man go ooh and ah? Yes. Here it is, the world's smallest record. <laughs> <laughs> That's not ooh and ah. Ooh ah. There you go. <laughs> and it fits in the palm of your hands. Oh How cool is that? That is amazing. 30 seconds of cheesy music, <laughs> like Tijuana Brass and Coney Island Sideshow and all that craziness. And now I have, these are the original sealed with record covers and everything. Oh and like I said, I've got, a, I've got tons of these now. I've got over 100. There's more. <laughs> that is so cool. Wow. Yeah, this has been a star of the show. In fact, there's, a, there's, a, um, there's pictures of me with Anderson Cooper from CNN getting this to work. Yeah, backstage. Me, my friend Amanda, and the thing, and it you played for like five seconds. Yeah, it just fits. <laughs> the thing is, it only plays when it feels like it. It's like that frog in the cartoon that only sings when the drunk guy sees him. <laughs> yeah, it drove Anderson crazy because it kept going. I, he was like, make it play, and he had to get on CNN, and it wouldn't play. And his staff is like, hurry, Denny, make it play. And he's like, Denny, can you do it? And I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And it wouldn't play. And, it, and then for a second, it went, da 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 and they were like, that's great, Anderson, let's go. And they pulled him on the seat. Then I was like, you silly machine. And I threw it in my bag and I went to the New York City subway. The whole way to the subway, down the stairs, on the train. It's going, da -da 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 -da. it was going, crazy. hello, my baby, hello, my dog. And I'm like, really? It's life. Now? <laughs> so clearly it is the frog in the cartoon. Nothing can be worse. Yeah. <laughs> and you opened up, oh my God, this is the funniest item. Do you know what this is? This is clearly perfect for a lady. This is a spittoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for, this, for the Union Pacific Railroad. Oh, my God. And, and Leah, you seem like the most elegant lady I've ever seen. And you opened a spittoon, which makes you another star, star, star. What do you do? 
Tuesday. Anyway. Uh, I'm a student right now. A student? What are you studying? Uh, nursing. Nursing. Mm -hmm. This is perfect because you want sanitariness in your <laughs> hospital. <laughs> yeah. Clearly you want people not to spit on the floor. You want them to spit in the spittoon. Can you remember that when you're working in the hospital? That they should spit only in the spittoons and not on your feet or the floor? Good. Excellent. So she'll be using this in the hospitals. This is so perfect. You're actually going to be one of the stars of the show because there's... I told you people open up things that have to do with them. A very the other eighty percent, the other twenty percent, ten percent are opposites, <laughs> and the opposites are really rare. So that a nurse opening up a spittoon is just so <laughs> ironic <laughs> and so freaking funny that you are my my um my brother's son's wife Michelle is the first person to ever do this. Uh, she's a sweet Jewish girl from from uh, Long Island, uh, from Queens, and she opened up Nazi bullets. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh and everybody opened up items that had to do. And she's voice. like, and she's like Sally from the Peanuts cartoon. She's the sweetest girl you've ever met. Night curly hair, just yeah. like Sally. And she's like, she looks at me. She goes. I opened up bullets. What does this have to do with me? Uh -oh. And I said, you're marrying my nephew. You tell me what you're not telling us. <laughs> what are you hiding? <laughs> you opened bullets from World War II. Hello. So the next year, I felt so bad for Michelle that ne the next year, I was doing my suffragette show. And every item people opened was suffragette. And, ne and Michelle loves the suffragette. She was a Columbia grad. She was really into this. Mm -hmm. So she's like, oh, this is great. This one's going, oh, look, a suffragette this and a suffragette that. And she's waiting for her box. So she's like, excellent. Mm -hmm. And she opens up a suffragette poster. And she's like, oh, this is great. And then she looks and it's a poster against the suffragettes. <laughs> and she goes, oh. <laughs> and everybody in the room was like, oh no, again. This is what happened last year. We were going to make up for last year. We didn't. I said, wait, I've got an emergency package in my car for just such occurrences. So I run to my car. I get a package. I go, here, Michelle, open this. She opens it up. It's a postcard. It's a suffragette postcard mm -hmm. against the spoofing the suffragette. And she's like, oh. And my nephew or her husband goes, you are banned from opening packages. Yeah, no more surprises. Three in a row. But now she wears it like a badge. She goes, everyone opens up things, but I am one of the special ones that opens up opposites. And she knows her story is told at least once a week. Or so, like every so often we tell her story. And she's like, she loves it. And there's only three or four people that are opposites. The pastor's wife, <laughs> Michelle, and now you. <laughs> so you're Famous. part of this. Yeah, you're part of the bunch. A spittoon and a nurse, that's too good. That is just too funny. Yeah. So a hundred years from now, you'll be telling your grandkids, I opened a spittoon and he'll be, you'll be like, and you're proud of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're damn right. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an etiquetteful girl. I don't spit on your shoes. I don't spit on the floor. I spit in the spittoon where it belongs. Where else would a lady spit? <laughs> so that's a really cool one. So if you're Union Pacific Railroad, that is great. So let's say bye to the world. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, guys.